أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ريف لام رو This is a book with verses basic or fundamental of established meaning further explained in detail from one who is wise and well acquainted with all things It teaches that you should worship none but Allah Say verily I am sent unto you from him to warn and to bring glad tidings and to preach thus seek you the forgiveness of your lord and turn to him in repentance that he may grant you enjoyment good and true for a term appointed and bestow his abounding grace on all who abound in merit but if you turn away then i fear for you the penalty of a great day Allah is your return and he has power over all things. Hold, they fold up their hearts that they may lie hid from him. Ah, even when they cover themselves with their garments, he knows what they conceal and what they reveal, for he knows well the inmost secrets of the hearts. There is no moving creature on earth but its sustenance depends on Allah. He knows the time and place of its definite abode and its temporary deposit. All is in a clear record. It is who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was over the waters, that he might try you which of you is best in conduct. But if you were to say to them, "You shall indeed be raised up after death," the unbelievers would be sure to say, "This is nothing but obvious sorcery." You delay the penalty for them for a definite term. They are sure to say, "What keeps it back?" Ah, on the day it actually reaches them, nothing will turn it away from them, and they will be completely encircled by that which they used to mock at. If we give man a taste of mercy from ourselves and then withdraw it from him, behold, he is in despair and falls into blasphemy. But if we give him a taste of our favors after adversity has touched him, he is sure to say, "All evil has departed from me." Behold, he falls into exaltation and pride. So do those who show patience and constancy and work righteousness for them is forgiveness of sins and a great reward perhaps you may feel the inclination to give up a part of what is revealed unto you and your heart feels straitened lest they say why is not a treasure sent down unto him or why does not an angel come down with him but you are there only to warn it is Allah that arranges all affairs or they may say he forged it Say, bring you then ten surahs forged like unto it, and call to your aid whomever you can, other than Allah, if you speak the truth. If then they, your false gods, answer not your call, know you that this revelation is sent down replete with the knowledge of Allah, and that there is no god but He. Will you even then submit to Islam? Those who desire the life of the present and its glitter, to them we shall pay the price of their deeds therein, without diminution. They are those for whom there is nothing in the hereafter but the fire. Vain are the designs they frame therein, and of no effect are the deeds that they do. Can they be like those who accept a clear sign from their Lord, and whom a witness from Himself does teach, as did the Book of Moses before it, a guide and a mercy? They believe therein, but those of the sects that reject it, the fire will be their promised meeting place. Be not then in doubt thereon. For it is the truth from your Lord, yet many among men do not believe. Who does more wrong than those who invent a lie against Allah? They will be turned back to the presence of their Lord, and the witnesses will say, "These are the ones who lied against their Lord." Behold, the curse of Allah is on those who do wrong. Those who would hinder men from the path of Allah and would seek in it something crooked, these were they who denied the hereafter. They will in no wise frustrate his design on earth, nor have their protectors besides Allah. Their penalty will be doubled. They lost the power to hear, and they did not see. They are the ones who have lost their own souls, and the fancies they invented have left them in the lurch. Without a doubt, these are the very ones who will lose most in the hereafter. But those who believe and work righteousness and humble themselves before their Lord, they will be companions of the garden to dwell therein for a. These two kinds of men may be compared to the blind and deaf, and those who can see and hear well 
Are they equal when compared? Will you not then take heed? We sent Noah to his people with a mission. I have come to you with a clear warning. That you serve none but Allah. Verily I do fear for you the penalty of a grievous day. But the chiefs of the unbelievers among his people said, We see in you nothing but a man like ourselves. Nor do we see that any follow you but the meanest among us, in judgment, immature. Nor do we see in you all any merit above us. In fact, we think you are liars. He said, O oh my people, see you if it be that I have a clear sign from my Lord, and that he has sent mercy unto me from his own presence, but that the mercy has been obscured from your sight. Shall we compel you to accept it when you are averse to it? And, O oh my people, I ask you for no wealth in return. My reward is from none but Allah. But I will not drive away in contempt those who believe. For verily, they are to meet their Lord, and you, I see, are the ignorant ones. And, O oh my people, who would help me against Allah if I drove them away? Will you not then take heed? I tell you not that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor do I know what is hidden, nor claim I to be an angel, nor yet do I say, of those whom your eyes do despise, that Allah will not grant them all that is good. Allah knows best what is in their souls. I should, if I did, indeed be a wrongdoer. They said, O Noah, you have disputed with us, and much have you prolonged the dispute with us. Now bring upon us what you threatened us with, if you speak the truth. He said, Truly Allah will bring it on you, if he wills, and then you will not be able to frustrate it. Of no profit will be my counsel to you, much as I desire to give you good counsel, if it be that Allah wills to leave you astray. He is your Lord, and to him will you return. Or do they say, He has forged it? Say, if I had forged it on me were my sin, and I am free of the sins of which you are guilty. It was revealed to Noah, none of your people will believe except those who have believed already, so grieve no longer over their evil deeds. But construct an ark under our eyes and our inspiration, and address me no further on behalf of those who are in sin, for they are about to be overwhelmed in the flood. Forthwith he starts constructing the ark. Every time that the chiefs of his people passed by him, they threw ridicule on him. He said, If you ridicule us now, we, in our turn, can look down on you with ridicule likewise. But soon will you know who it is on whom will descend a penalty that will cover them with shame, on whom will be unloosed a penalty lasting. At length, behold, there came our command, and the fountains of the earth gushed forth. We said, Embark therein, of each kind too, male and female, and your family, except those against whom the word has already gone forth, and the believers, but only a few believed with him. So he said, Embark you on the ark in the name of Allah, whether it move or be at rest, for my Lord is, be sure, oft forgiving, most merciful. So the ark floated with them on the waves, towering like mountains, and Noah called out to his son, who had separated himself from the rest, O my son, embark with us, and be not with the unbelievers. The son replied, I will betake myself to some mountain. It will save me from the water. Noah said, This day nothing can save from the command of Allah, any but those on whom he has mercy. And the waves came between them, and the son was among those overwhelmed in the flood. Then the word went forth, O earth, swallow up your water, and O sky, withhold your rain. And the water abated, and the matter was ended. The ark rested on Mount Judy, and the word went forth, Away with those who do wrong. And Noah called upon his Lord, and said, O my Lord, surely my son is of my family, and your promise is true, and you are the justice of judges. He said, O Noah, he is not of your family for his conduct is unrighteous. So ask not of me that of which you have no knowledge. I give you counsel, lest you act like the ignorant. Noah said, O oh my Lord, I do seek refuge with you, lest I ask you for that of which I have no knowledge, and unless you forgive me and have mercy on me, I should indeed be lost. The word came, O oh Noah, 
come down from the ark with peace from us and blessing on you, and on some of the peoples who will spring from those with you. But there will be other peoples to whom we shall grant their pleasures for a time, but in the end will a grievous penalty reach them from us. Such are some of the stories of the unseen, which we have revealed unto you. Before this, neither you nor your people knew them. So persevere patiently, for the end is for those who are righteous. To the Ard people we sent Hud, one of their own brethren. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no other god but him. Your other gods you do nothing but invent. O oh my people, I ask of you no reward for this message. My reward is from none but him who created me. Will you not then understand? And, O oh my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, and turn to him in repentance. He will send you the skies, pouring abundant rain, and add strength to your strength, so turn you not back in sin. They said, O oh Hud, no clear sign have you brought us, and we are not the ones to desert our gods on your word, nor shall we believe in you. We say nothing but that perhaps some of our gods may have seized you with imbecility. He said, I call Allah to witness, and do you bear witness, that I am free from the sin of ascribing to him. Other gods as partners? So scheme your worst against me, all of you, and give me no respite. I put my trust in Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. There is not a moving creature, but he has grasp of its forelock. Verily, it is my Lord that is on a straight path. If you turn away, I at least have conveyed the message with which I was sent to you. My Lord will make another people to succeed you, and you will not harm him in the least. For my Lord has care and watch over all things. So when our decree issued, we saved Hud and those who believed with him by special grace from ourselves. We saved them from a severe penalty. Such were the Ad people. They rejected the signs of their Lord and Cherisher, disobeyed his messengers, and followed the command of every powerful obstinate transgressor. And they were pursued by a curse in this life, and on the day of judgment. Ah, behold, for the Ad rejected their Lord and Cherisher. Ah, behold, removed from sight were Ad, the people of Hud. To the Thamud people we sent Sali, one of their own brethren. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no other God but Him. It is He who has produced you from the earth and settled you therein. Then ask forgiveness of Him and turn to Him in repentance, for my Lord is always near, ready to answer. They said, O oh Sali, you have been of us, a center of our hopes hitherto. Do you now forbid us the worship of what our fathers worshipped? But we are really in suspicious, disquieting doubt as to that to which you invite us. He said, O oh my people, do you see, if I have a clear sign from my Lord, and he has sent mercy unto me from himself, who then can help me against Allah if I were to disobey him? What then would you add to my portion but perdition? And, O oh my people, this she-camel of Allah is a symbol to you. Leave her to feed on Allah's free earth, and inflict no harm on her, or a swift penalty will seize you. But they did hamstring her, so he said, Enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days, then will be your ruin. Behold, they are promised not to be belied. When our decree issued, we saved Sali and those who believed with him by special grace from ourselves and from the ignominy of that day. For your Lord, he is the strong one, and able to enforce his will. The mighty blast overtook the wrongdoers, and they lay prostrate in their homes before the morning. As if they had never dwelt and flourished there. Ah, behold, for the Thamud rejected their Lord and cherisher. Ah, behold, removed from sight with the Thamud. There came our messengers to Abram with glad tidings. They said, Peace. He answered, Peace, and hastened to entertain them with a roasted calf. But when he saw their hands went not towards the meal, he felt some mistrust of them, and conceived a fear of them. They said, Fear not, we have been sent against the people of Lut. And his wife was standing there, and she laughed. But we gave her glad tidings of Isaac, and after him of Jacob.
She said, Alas for me, shall I bear a child, seeing I am an old woman, and my husband here is an old man? That would indeed be very strange. They said, Do you wonder at Allah's decree, the grace of Allah and his blessings on you? O you people of the house, for he is indeed worthy of all praise, full of all glory. When fear had passed from the mind of Abram and the glad tidings had reached him, he began to plead with us for Lut's people. For Abram was, without doubt, forbearing of faults, compassionate, and given to look to Allah. O Abram, seek not this. The decree of your Lord has gone forth. For them there comes a penalty that cannot be turned back. When our messengers came to Lut, he was grieved on their account and felt himself powerless to protect them. He said, This is a distressful day. And his people came rushing towards him, and they had been long in the habit of practicing abominations. He said, O oh my people, here are my daughters. They are purer for you if you marry. Now fear Allah, and cover me not with shame about my guests. Is there not among you a single right-minded man? They said, Well do you know, we have no need of your daughters. Indeed, you know quite well what we want. He said, Would that I had power to suppress you, or that I could betake myself to some powerful support? The messengers said, O Lut, we are messengers from your Lord. By no means shall they reach you. Now travel with your family while yet a part of the night remains, and let not any of you look back. But your wife will remain behind. To her will happen what happens to the people. Morning is their time appointed. Is not the morning nigh? When our decree issued, we turned the cities upside down, and rained down on them brimstones, hard as baked clay, spread layer on layer, marked as from your Lord, nor are they ever far from those who do wrong. To the Madian people we sent Shu'ab, one of their own brethren. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah, you have no other God but Him, and give not short measure or weight. I see you in prosperity, but I fear for you the penalty of a day that will compass you all round. And, O oh my people, give just measure and wait, nor withhold from the people the things that are their due. Commit not evil in the land with intent to do mischief. That which is left you by Allah is best for you, if you but believed, but I am not set over you to keep watch. They said, O oh Shu'ab, does your religion of prayer command you that we leave off the worship which our fathers practiced, or that we leave off doing what we like with our property? Truly, you are the one that forbears with faults and is right-minded. He said, O oh my people, see you whether I have a clear sign from my Lord, and he has given me sustenance pure and good as from himself. I wish not in opposition to you to do that which I forbid you to do. I only desire your betterment to the best of my power, and my success in my task can only come from Allah. In him I trust, and unto him I look. And O my people, let not my descent from you cause you to sin, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of the people of Noah, or of Hud, or of Sali, nor are the people of Lut far off from you. But ask forgiveness of your Lord, and turn unto him in repentance. For my Lord is indeed full of mercy and loving kindness. They said, O oh Shu'ab, much of what you say we do not understand. In fact, among us we see that you have no strength. Were it not for your family, we should certainly have stoned you. For you have among us no great position. He said, O oh my people, is then my family of more consideration with you than Allah? For you cast him away behind your backs with contempt. But verily, my Lord encompasses on all sides all that you do. And, O oh my people, do whatever you can, I will do my part. Soon will you know who it is on whom descends the penalty of ignominy, and who is a liar. And watch you, for I too am watching with you. When our decree issued, we saved Shu'ab and those who believed with him by special mercy from ourselves. But the mighty blast did seize the wrongdoers and they lay prostrate in their homes by the morning. As if they had never dwelt and flourished there. Ah, behold, how the Madian were removed from sight, 
as were removed the Thamud. And we sent Moses with our clear signs, and an authority manifest. Unto Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they followed the command of Pharaoh, and the command of Pharaoh was no right guide. He will go before his people on the day of judgment, and lead them into the fire, as cattle are led to water, but woeful indeed will be the place to which they are led. And they are followed by a curse in this life, and on the day of judgment, and woeful is the gift which shall be given unto them. These are some of the stories of communities which we relate unto you. Of them some are standing, and some have been mown down by the sickle of time. It was not we that wronged them, they wronged their own souls. The deities, other than Allah, whom they invoked, profited them no whit when they issued the decree of your Lord, nor did they add aught to their lot but perdition. Such is the chastisement of your Lord when he chastises communities in the midst of their wrong. Grievous indeed, and severe is his chastisement. In that is a sign for those who fear the penalty of the hereafter. That is a day for which mankind will be gathered together. That will be a day of testimony. Nor shall we delay it but for a term appointed. The day it arrives, no soul shall speak except by his leave. Of those gathered some will be wretched and some will be blessed. Those who are wretched shall be in the fire. There will be for them therein nothing but the heaving of sighs and sobs. They will dwell therein for all the time that the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord wills, for your Lord is the sure accomplisher of what he plans. And those who are blessed shall be in the garden. They will dwell therein for all the time that the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord wills, a gift without break. Be not then in doubt as to what these men worship. They worship nothing but what their fathers worshipped before them. But verily we shall pay them back in full their portion without the least abatement. We certainly gave the book to Moses, but differences arose therein. Had it not been that a word had gone forth before from your Lord, the matter would have been decided between them, but they are in suspicious doubt concerning it. And of a surety to all will your Lord pay back in full the recompense of their deeds, for he knows well all that they do. Therefore stand firm in the straight path as you are commanded, you and those who with you turn unto Allah, and transgress not from the path, for he sees well all that you do. And incline not to those who do wrong, or the fire will seize you, and you have no protectors other than Allah, nor shall you be helped and establish regular prayers at the two ends of the day and at the approaches of the night. For those things that are good remove those that are evil. Be that the word of remembrance to those who remember their Lord. And be steadfast in patience, for verily Allah will not suffer the reward of the righteous to perish. Why were there not, among the generations before you, persons possessed of balanced good sense, prohibiting men from mischief in the earth, except a few among them whom we save from harm. But the wrongdoers pursued the enjoyment of the good things of life, which were given them, and persisted in sin. Nor would your Lord be the one to destroy communities for a single wrongdoing, if its members were likely to mend. If your Lord had so willed, he could have made mankind one people, but they will not cease to dispute except those on whom your Lord has bestowed his mercy, and for this did he create them, and the word of your Lord shall be fulfilled. I will fill hell with genes and men all together. All that we relate to you of the stories of the messengers, with it we make firm your heart. In them there comes to you the truth, as well as an exhortation and a message of remembrance to those who believe. Say to those who do not believe, do whatever you can, we shall do our part. And wait you, we too shall wait. To Allah do belong the unseen secrets of the heavens and the earth, and to him goes back every affair for decision. Then worship him, and put your trust in him, and your Lord is not unmindful of aught that you do.